Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 22nd June 2023, G Aerospace has signed a memorandum of understanding with HL to produce fighter jet engines for Indian Air Force. Eight F414 engines have already been delivered as a part of ongoing development program for LC Mark II. This engine will not only power LC Mark II but also AMC Mark I and Ted BF fighter jets. The version of F414 which will be made in India is F414 INS6 engine. In addition, GE will continue to collaborate with Indian government on AMC Mark II engine program. The GE and HL collaboration has cleared the way for development and production of LC Mark II, AMC Mark I and Ted BF fighter jets. India is now exploring the partner to collaborate on development of more powerful engine which will power AMC Mark II fighter jets. While AMC Mark I will fly with existing 90 kN class G F414 engine, AMC Mark II will be powered by a very powerful engine to be co-developed. The Times now has reported on 25th June 2023 that Safran offered to co-develop engines include full transfer of technology and no restriction on stopping any access to sensitive data. On 27 June 2023, Safran Aircraft Engines has informed about the meeting between DRDO Chairman and CEO of Safran Engines at a facility where the parts of French M88 engines are produced. Safran has reiterated its commitment towards making India by developing an aerospace ecosystem and supporting the co-development of new engine to power AMCA. The French engine maker Safran has developed and is in process of developing various engines to power the fighter aircrafts. The most famous of them is Snecma M88 series of engine which has many variants. The M88 II produces 50 kN of dry thrust and 75 kN with afterburners. Two engines of this variant are used in Rafale fighter jets. The M88 III produces 93 kN of thrust with afterburner. It was developed for a single engine light combat aircraft. The M88 IV produces 105 kN of thrust with afterburner. It is developed for medium weight single engine fighter jet. Most likely, the France engine maker Safran will offer M88 IV engine or its variant to India as it is close to AMCA thrust requirement but still under power. Safran and GTRE may work on scaled up version of this engine to be able to generate thrust greater than 110 kN. In April 2021, MTU Aero engines, Safran aircraft engines and ITP Aero came to an overall agreement on cooperation to provide a jointly developed, produced and supported engine to power the next generation fighter which is a core element of FCAS that is Future Combat Air System. Safran aircraft engines will lead the engine's overall design and integration while MTU Aero engines will lead the engine service activities. ITP Aero will be fully integrated into the design of the engine and develop the low pressure turbine and nozzle amongst other items. The next generation fighter aircraft will have much higher thrust requirement when compared with existing fighters like Rafale. The higher thrust means higher temperature which will be experienced inside the engine core and fan blades. The temperature can reach as high as 1827 degrees Celsius at the turbine jet inlet which is 250 degrees more than what is experienced by M88 engines. The metal alloys present in M88 engines cannot sustain such high temperature. To achieve this, French General Directorate of Armaments DGA, French National Aerospace Research Center ONERA and Safran are working together on accelerating the development of new metal alloys and multi-layer system for high temperature application on turbine blades and discs. This development is also important as it may help India if it goes ahead with France for engine development for AMCA Mark II program. This was today's update. 
Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.